Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I've got <clears throat> I've got a word that is supposedly from the Lord that I would like to share with you for your critique. And uh, I'm not sure if that's the way I should put it. Okay, I'm just going to read it and the scripture that was put with it. And then I've got a scripture of my own to read to you. I want to teach you to be very careful of who you are associating with. Okay? You know, all in the name of getting along and loving everybody. All right, just listen up. This was sent to me, and I'm not going to say by who the person is, but it came in Dawn's letter. This one was put up January 9th. Today is Thursday, January 9th. It's 4.57 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the Robitussin isn't quite cutting it anymore. Incorporating everyone suits you. Integrating others into your midst, even those who are a bit difficult to get along with, is what I desire. Step away from the, quote, in-group mentality, which insulates the select few and cuts off the undesirables, which is in quotes. Showing partiality and favoritism is easy to recognize and disenfranchises those who are watching you, the church, which is in quotes, like hawks. Let me repeat that again. Showing partiality and favoritism is easy to recognize and disenfranchises something on my screen here. Those who are watching you, the church, like hawks. Perfect love is what I represent. I have set myself as a far-reaching standard for you to follow. <clears throat> Matthew 5, 44 through 48, CEB, whatever that is. Christian English Bible, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who harass you so that you will be acting as children of your Father who is in heaven. He makes the sun rise on both the evil and the good and sends rain on both the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more? Are you doing? Don't even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore, just as your heavenly Father is complete in showing love to everyone, so also you must be complete. Okay. Now, I read this, and... Uh, this scripture that I'm about to read to you just popped up into my brain like I just learned it yesterday. Let me read it to you. This is coming from the Berean Study Bible, and it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to read 10 through 12. <clears throat> 
Paul has been talking about expelling the immoral brother. I was not including the sexually immoral of this world or the greedy or swindlers or idolaters. In that case, you would have to leave the world. He isn't saying we don't associate with the lost greedy people or swindlers. Just be careful to watch your wallet. We don't have to allow them to steal from us. Okay, but he goes on to say, but now I am writing you not to associate with anyone who claims to be a brother and that would include or a sister, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or a verbal abuser, a drunkard or a swindler. With such a man or woman, do not even eat. What business of mine is it to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? And yes, we are. So many people honestly believe that we're not to judge one another. That Jesus is our judge. We are not to judge the world, the lost people. We're to bring them in. Now, of course, you don't do what they're doing to try to win them over. Oh, I'm going to go on in the bar with this guy so I can talk to him about Christ over a few beers. I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay? Um... But the Lord is saying, it's okay if you want to take a drunken guy over to fast food joint, sit him down, go in, get a couple of burger meals, come out, and sit down, feed him, and talk to him about the Lord. You are associating with him, just like Jesus associated with the tax collectors, the... Um, Pharisees in their homes and Mary who was it was it Mary Magdalene that came in and she cried and poured oil the alabaster box of oil over his um what's it over his feet or over his head but anyway she poured the whole bottle of oil on him cried on his feet wiped his her his feet with her hair. I was just listening to that song yesterday. It was so beautiful. And I was thinking, oh Lord, if I could just do that for you, that would be so wonderful. But anyway, getting back to this. Um, if you know a Christian, a person claiming to be a Christian, and you've been going to church with them or let's say you've been associating with them on YouTube a couple, three, four, five years now or more and they're doing this stuff you're not to associate with them and I know that's hard that's hard when you really love them we love them but if you if we go on let me go to 1 Corinthians 5.11 in the Blue Letter Bible. Five, eleven. Okay, and I want to go to the NASB. All right. But actually, I wrote to you not to associate with any so-called brother. If he is an immoral person, or covetous, or an idolater, or a reviler, or a drunkard, or a swindler, 
not even to eat with such a one. For what have I to do with judging outsiders? Do you not judge those who are within the church? But those are the outside God judges. But those who are outside God judges. Remove the wicked man from among yourselves. All right. So, if we go back to this prophecy or word from the Lord, it says, incorporating everyone suits you. In other words, there's some of us who really enjoy including everyone. Integrating others into your midst, even those who are a bit difficult to get along with, is what I desire. Okay. Now remember the verse I just read to you. Are you going to have a big cook-off in your home? See, we can't get together in our homes. It's like our churches. <laughs> We're digital. We can't really get together to eat together, can we? It's kind of makes some of these scriptures not I mean he's telling us don't even eat with such a one that claims to be a brother you, you've been walking with them they've been a Christian but now they're into they're idolizing something they're like way into football more than God well that's an idolater and swindler are they swindling people at their job and then bragging about it? You know, whatever. I mean, how else would you know? They're not going to tell you on the sly unless they're confessing their sin to you. I hope I'm making sense. The Lord doesn't want us to associate with fellow Christians that are sinning willfully and not repenting and coming out of it. So now why would he ha why if it's okay for us to sin and be covered by grace why would he say don't have anything to do with them Do we believe that the whole Bible is inspired by God Holy Spirit inspired I do So anyway I just thought this, when I read this, I felt like I had to go look that scripture up and I felt like I needed to do a teaching on it. And I, pray, I prayed before I started that the Holy Spirit would speak through me and have me to say what he wanted me to say. So I think I have. So I will end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. My computer and over each and every one of you as well and your devices and all your you know con uh, internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here whenever that is God hasn't said no I'm not coming he's just and he hasn't said wait a while, really. We just keep coming up with days and dates and times and seasons, and we've been wrong. People keep being wrong. That doesn't mean he's not coming. He could come this month. We don't know. But we must keep believing he's coming because the word says so. And our God is a God of promises, and he keeps his promise. He has a date set. He knows exactly when he's coming. We can be assured of that. All right, then. I'll let you go with that, and I'll talk to you later.